man. And Father, as we gather in your name, you see the different various congregations that we Holy Frederick, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Again, I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. All the wonderful brethren, little children, I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus. He who deserves all.
giving God thanks for where you have taken me from. Um, for about a year and a half, I was working, but God opened the door a few weeks ago, two weeks, and He put me in a place where that, um, not being racist, but we all old black people, are, I'm glad for that, so I can take care of my moms and dads, yeah? And um, I really would like to say something. You know, so I heard about um, people talking about um, the crab in the barrel. So they put black people, they put it down, they put it on one another. But I would like to cancel that in the name of Jesus. Because I'm working with some people here, which they are very organized. Tomorrow they're going to have a give me day. All the food is free. All the, if you need shopping, just go there. And it's uh, with our street. Just go there and get the shopping. So, as I said, you. Don't pull it up. Let's don't pull up one another. Just let's build up one another. Don't speak no negative word about because God is not a um, he's not a racist. And we are not racist. So don't keep on pulling one another. So I just want to say until God wake me up, He take care of me, and right now I'm just giving God thanks. Thank you for the comments.
Jesus by night and said, Well, the teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? <coughs> so, verily, I say, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell when it, whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master in Israel, and knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, We speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things, and ye believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. And as we lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. 19 and part ending. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. We'll stand with one of the words by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. it was in the beginning, to now and Uh, if someone has a green BMW, Sister Lorraine, could you please pull it back? Please, it's this is requesting. God bless this is the beginning for the word. I'd like all our ministers to stand, our mothers, overseers, our pastors, please to just stand at this time and in front to say your name. Praise the Lord.
going to be coming right now. He's going to carry on. Carry on. Let's just see this, this chorus actually as our bishop gets ready. What a mighty God we serve. The angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. And I'm going to encourage you, brethren, if you feel like you want to rock, you rock.
Hallelujah. We give God all the glory and all the praise. As we come in this house to worship and to glorify His name. He's not a dead God, He's alive. I know that He lives because He lives in my heart. Isn't that right? Let us give Him praise. It amazes me that, that sometimes we don't recognize who we really are. Amen. In Christ Jesus. And the story is about um, we have a regenerated heart. Yes. And uh, the thing is that we're looking at the story from the, um, um, St. John's chapter 3, where we find that Nicodemus went to the Lord. And uh, as he went to him by night, amen, and began to tell Jesus who he is. I know that you're a man sent from God. Yes. And sometimes we tend to look at miracles. And do not re recognize the man who is behind the earth. Yeah. Hallelujah. And right away, Jesus took the mind or the eyes of Nicodemus from off the miracles. Because miracles cannot save you. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes we run after miracles. But miracles cannot save you. Amen. Because the devil can do miracles also. Amen. But Jesus came here with a purpose. Yes. A purpose to change the heart of them. Yes. And when you speak about the heart, it does not mean that the heart that pumps the blood to the body. No. Because you notice that the surgeons can take the heart and put it into somebody. Yes. But it's speaking about your spirit. Yes. That's why he said to Nicodemus, he that is born of the flesh is flesh. But he that is born of the spirit, of the spirit of God, is spirit. It means that God, who promised, even he promised Israel, that he would change their stony heart and give them a heart of flesh. Amen. Hallelujah. That's God. And it's not the work of a man, but it's the work of the spirit. Because he that is born of the spirit is spirit. So it takes the Holy Spirit. Jesus comes with a mission to change not the outer man only, but change the inner man. He comes to make us anew. To be born again means that we have to be regenerated. We have to have a new life. No wonder when Jesus came into the world, he said, Hallelujah, bless God, that the enemy comes to steal and to destroy. But I come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. And the apostle Paul said, Therefore, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. All things are passed away, and behold, all things are, are become new. That's the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we came to change. Hallelujah. Let's God. Because we were dead in sin and in trespasses. But he came to change us. Amen. That's God. Hallelujah. That's God. It means that he not just come to make us over, but he comes to recreate. Recreate means to make a new. You are a new creation in Christ Jesus. All things are passed away. All things are become now. But the Bible tells us, the Apostle Paul tells us in Colossians, that he has delivered us from the power of darkness and translated it in the kingdom of his son. Amen. Therefore, that you cannot enter into the kingdom unless the kingdom enter into you. First of all, the kingdom of God has to enter into you before you can enter into the kingdom. Glory be to God. And that is why when he begins to speak to Nicodemus, Nicodemus, although he was a ruler of the Jews and a wise man, but he had not the knowledge of the things of God. You see, no man have the knowledge of the things of God unless he's born of God. Hallelujah, bless God. You've got to be born of God. That's why the word of God says, eyes have not seen, nor ears have heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that God is what? Hallelujah, bless God. God is our inverse. Glory because you can only receive the things of God by the Spirit of God. And therefore, if we are in the Spirit, of God, we got to walk in the spirit, we got to live in the spirit, we got to talk in the spirit. The spirit is not an influence, the spirit is power, the spirit is a nightmare, the spirit is the presence of God. Hallelujah, bless God. And I'm so glad tonight to know that Jesus has brought me from a long way. Hallelujah, bless God. I was in sin, maybe my life was messed up, but I thank God that He reached down His hand for me and He changed my life. Somebody said, Oh. Wow. 
presence. Yes, he is a miracle working God. But the greatest miracle is not the healing of the body, it's the healing of the soul. Because though the outer man is a pressure, yes, the inner man is renewed day by day. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless you, God. And when I see in the Old Testament that even when Elijah died and his bone was put into the grave, amen, even the bone of Elijah had power to raise the dead. What was the power in the bone? The power was the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And that's the anointing of God is upon your life. Amen. Death has no power over you. When Jesus shall come, hallelujah, you shall hear the voice of the trumpet of the archangel. And if you're dead here, you shall rise. No grave can hold your body down. That is great as the name of Jesus Christ. At his name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I lift him up tonight and I give him all the glory because he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, bless God. Men give glory to men, but I give glory to God. Amen. The Son of the living God who is risen from the dead, who have all power in heaven and in earth. And tonight we worship not a dead God. He is not Muhammad. Muhammad is dead. My God, hallelujah, bless God. But Jesus has been risen from the dead. Now you come and see the place where he was laid. He is not here, but he is risen from the dead. Glory be to God. And tonight I glorify his righteous name. May God bless you tonight in the wonderful name of Jesus.
wanted to come and pray for the preacher for the night. Hallelujah. Just come and pray for Sister Naomi. In Jesus' name. Let us pray. Our God. Yes, Lord God. Our Father. The creator of all things. Mighty. Holy. Great and precious, thou art. You have made us, Lord. And even tonight, Lord, we stand in your very presence. I acknowledge that you are here. I want to praise you for your people tonight, Lord. I pray, my God, tonight, as your mistress, minister, and servant come to us. Our ears will be open. Our hearts will be receptive. God, you are saying to us, he that I want to hear to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. And I thank you tonight, Lord, that you are the one who is building your church. Tonight we stand in you. We move in you. We have our being in you. And we come tonight, Lord, to feast upon your word. Lord, it is said in your word, your word is a lamp unto our feet. And a light unto our pathway. We are clean through the words, Lord. And tonight, Lord, I pray that your word will go forth with power. Those, my God, that needs to be healed, will heal. Because you said you sent your word and heal them. I thank you tonight, Lord. I pray for boldness. I pray that utterance will be given. Holy God. And as your minister and servant speak to us, God, give us an attentive ear. I commit her into your hands tonight. And I take the authority, Lord, and pull down every struggle. I clear this zone tonight, Lord. Let it be a free zone, Lord. Everything, Lord, that will war it against the mind of your people. Right now, Lord, we trample it on our feet. God, we thank you. Let your presence be felt. As I commit her into your hands, in the name of Jesus Christ, for your sake and for your glory. Amen. 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 I said to you, the speaker for the night, Sister Naomi. May God bless you, Jesus.
mighty name of Jesus. Truly, it's an honor and privilege to be standing before you tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. I would just like to say that I am saved. And I know I am saved. Praise God, because one day, Jesus came into my life. Praise the name of the Lord. And because of that, I have the right to praise him. I have the right to glorify him. I have the right to bless him. Praise the name of the Lord. Because he is worthy. Praise God to be praised. You know, um, sometimes we try to do something and it does not quite work out the way that we would like it to work out. And you know, I was thinking that tonight is Friday night and there has been many speakers and I thought, well, what could I possibly say that they haven't said? Praise the name of the Lord. And I read, and I read, and I read some more. Then I thought to myself, let me make some notes. But there was nothing coming. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, because sometimes we want to be systematic and have a good presentation and hold it all together and look like we're really together. But I have been talking to the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Because I believe that I am only a servant, a vessel of Jesus Christ. And I prayed and I said, Lord, these are your people. You know what they need. You know where they are at. Praise the name of the Lord. So Lord, you come and speak to your people. And I will be your mouthpiece. Praise the name of the Lord. So maybe you're here that to hear something really big. And something really laid out. And you know what I mean? The words and the scriptures and everything like that. But the Lord did give me one word from the text. And it is verse 16. For God so loved this word that he gave his only begotten son that who forever believeth in him should not of the Lord. Now Jesus was preaching and ministering in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Galilee. Many people heard him and many people followed him. Many people followed him for different reasons. Praise the name of the Lord. The Pharisees
Nicodemus by name. Now, Nicodemus was a rich man. Nicodemus was an educated man. Nicodemus was a Pharisee. And quite rightly, the son of a Pharisee. So he had status. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus feel that I recognize yes. that 
your kids. They're built wildly. A number could be a few people that needs to be born again. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes we are in the house and we've lost our way. Thank you, Jesus. Lost our way. But God is merciful. Thank you, Jesus. God is kind. He is loving and compassionate. And his arms are always open to receive us. Praise the name of the Lord. Come on, be born again. Praise God. If you walk out on the street and say to somebody, you must be born again, if you're wiping your knee. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. For as far as they're concerned, we're on the planet. I've been born once and raised. Yes. Praise God. Yes. But what says the Bible? He must be born of the water and of the spirit. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Now, water is something that washes. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. It clears
know, bless you. You can hardly get some people to let go of certain things. I'm not a mother, so I don't really know. But I watch and I'm alive. I look and I see. And the scripture says, wisdom quiet out in the streets. Praise the name of the Lord. So if we don't know by experience, we can know by observation. Praise the name of the Lord. And I observe that the bond, and I know because I have a mom and dad, or oh, I have a mom and dad passed away, that there is nothing that mother and father wouldn't do for their children. No matter the trouble, the trial, the testing, the heartache, the burning, there is nothing that that mother and father would not do. Praise the name of the Lord. I think most mothers or fathers would die for their children. Praise the name of the Lord. But some have more than one. Some have a few. But God has one. 